If you've been following Ludus NYC for a while, you've probably seen pictures of my Playbill collection on Twitter or on LudusNYC.com. In fact, I have a whole series of blogs on my Playbill collection, link in the doobie doo. A few months back, I got a question about what to do with the Playbill after a show. Should I hold on to it? Uh, should I start a collection? Or will it just end up in a drawer somewhere gathering dust? There are a lot of resources out there for someone that's starting a Playbill collection. Um, Playbill sells an official Playbill binder for $39.95. It's a black three ring binder with the Playbill lettering on the spine and polypropylene sleeves for storing and preserving the Playbill. Personally, I don't have 40 bucks to spend on a Playbill binder, and I think that the average theater goer can get by without the Playbill binder. Three ring binders are available at Target, office supply stores, and even some of the bigger grocery stores that carry school supplies will carry them. I have four three ring binders that I use for my Playbill collection, and I also purchased these plastic sleeves under count to go with them. Uh, you can find these at Target, again at office supply stores, most grocery stores will carry them. And they might not be archival quality like the Playbill uh, collection, but they work just fine for someone like me. Uh, the covers of a lot of these three ring binders will also have this plastic sleeve in the front. So if you're a crafty person, like if you do a lot of scrapbooking, or if you like to personalize uh, your photo albums, um, you can have a little bit of fun with that. And with a three ring binder like this, you're going to feel freer to mess around with the cover than I think you would if you had like the $40 uh, Playbill binder. At least I would feel weird uh, spending $40 on the Playbill binder and then messing around with it. Um, but then again, for 40 bucks, I could buy rush tickets to go see another Broadway show. I usually hold on to the Playbill and the ticket so I can organize my Playbills in chronological order. Um, going back through my collection, I can really point out turning points for me as far as some of my changing tastes in shows or particular shows that inspired me in my life. For example, I saw Next to Normal three times when I first came to New York. The show was so important to me, I remember sitting in the front row just crying because the show affected me on, in such a deeply personal way. Um, I knew friends and family who had struggled with depression and mental illness, and I'd never seen it portrayed so so well and so true on stage before. More recently, here are my playbills uh, from Matilda the Musical from last year. I saw Matilda twice in the course of a week, uh, just before Bertie Carville and Lauren Ward left the show. The second time I saw the show, uh, my in-laws were actually visiting from out of town, and this was their first Broadway show, which was significant in its own right. During that weekend, after seeing the show for a second time, I started doing serious work on my first novel. The show inspired me and reminded me of why I fell in love with storytelling in the first place, and it remains one of the most important shows I've seen since moving to New York, which is why it's important that I held on to the playbills and documented it uh, so I can go back and I can remember going to see that show. So I hope this video is helpful to all of you out there who might have a drawer full of playbills gathering dust, or maybe you're just starting your playbill collection. Happy collecting, and go see a Broadway show!